Donald Trump's Detroit visit leaves a lasting impression on the city. It tops our news tonight at 11. His controversial Labor Day weekend visit ended on a high note with a tour of the city. And one woman who didn't see it coming got her chance to meet Donald Trump up close and personal. Our Rod Maloney spoke with her tonight. He's live with her story. Rod. Well, Steve, we're on South Deacon in southwest Detroit, and behind me is a very famous Detroit home. It's the boyhood home of Dr. Ben Carson, famed neurosurgeon, former presidential candidate, now Donald Trump advisor. And it was here, right on the sidewalk here in front of the house, that the spotlight of the presidential race shone brightly. I want to make this city the economic envy of the world. We can do that. We can do that again. Donald Trump's message shook up Detroit today. Later, the Republican nominee, Ben Carson, shook up Felicia Reese's world. She thought she was watching Eddie Murphy's Coming to America movie. When the king showed up, there were a lot of limos and the rose bearers who would throw the roses in the street. This was bigger than the rose bearers. <laughs> She'd received no advanced warning that she'd meet Donald Trump today. And while a bit starstruck. So you have this worth a lot of money because of him, right? Yeah, say that again. <laughs> I said I could be polite and uh, I'm a Democrat and an American. And Welcome to Detroit. And while she listened to Ben Carson do an interview with CNN about the reasoning behind Trump's visit. What you have to do is listen to what he's actually saying. He's saying that 50 years of these kinds of progressive policies have not led to a good place. So, you know, why would you continue to go down that pathway and expect something different to happen? She was not swayed by her brush with celebrity. My son and I are going to vote in November, and I believe that we will have a Democratic president and hopefully a Democratic Congress so somebody can actually vote for a bill. Now, she does like Dr. Ben Carson. She's met him before because he's come and take pictures of the place before. But uh, Ben Carson and Donald Trump packed up in the car and have now headed out of town back to the national race. And so uh, for one day, the brush with fame was interesting, but not necessarily persuasive. Back to you. Rod, as I understand, this is not all that unusual to see a presidential candidate or even a president in Detroit on Labor Day weekend. No, no, Steve, you know, Bill Clinton is going to be coming on Monday for Labor Day itself to stump for Hillary. But I've covered uh, George Bush. I've had Joe Biden in town. Uh, Barack Obama in 2008 came and, uh, and spoke after the parade. So uh, Detroit is always a very important place for presidential politics on Labor Day, for sure. Well, on Labor in Detroit, they have gone together for 100 years, sure I suppose. Yeah. Thank you, Rod. All right. Thank you, Rod.